So TMZ gets up with Molly Quirm about the LeVar Ball. LeVar Ball. Say that shit five times fast, right? Um, quote unquote controversy. I just wanted to first of all applaud you on how professional you were and how you handled everything yesterday thank uh, following you. The, the inappropriate comments. Thank I wanted you, to you. know if, um, has, has any of the Ball family members actually reached out to you? Has LeVar reached out to you at all to ap personally apologize? I haven't heard from anybody, but to be honest with you, I shut my phone off after work, yeah. so I was just in I was just in chill mode. Okay. Do you think uh, Lavar's going to be invited back on the show anytime soon? Should ESPN like just stop putting giving this guy airtime at this point, or? I have no idea. Those decisions are above my pay grade. Okay. Uh, can I just ask how Jalen is handled the situation? Does he have a message for Lavar at all? Do you have a message for Lavar? I think Jalen would have just liked if he had apologized to me publicly. Okay. ESPN obviously had your back. They said he was completely appropriate and let him be aware of that. Um, do you think that they should do anything further at this point, or are you satisfied with the outcome? No, I'm satisfied. Yeah, 100%. ESPN was really supportive, and I appreciate it. All the executives had my back, so okay. much appreciated. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. Mike. Have a great day. And I'll be honest with you, I'll listen to it. She, she, she didn't make it extra... But that last part about public apology, I would have just like, it would have been more, even though it was more TMZ pushing it about like, should they do some more stuff, this, that, and the third, because they were probing her. You know what I mean? She, I felt like she could at least let it look a little less more than what it was. <laughs> you know what I mean? So instead of fanning it into something that it didn't really need to be. But when they kept asking about Jalen Rose, like, why, why, why you gotta bring my, bring my man into this? Ah, right, yeah, that's his, his white fight, cool. But come on, man, is it that deep? He didn't say anything, but you can interrupt me anytime. And she gave her an awkward pause. Her response was more, more than enough that she wasn't feeling that. But okay, is that something that Lavar Ball is known for doing? I don't know. But if he now, now the argument is, well, why is he like that only with a woman? Well, I mean, you got to also understand one thing. He's not going to treat her the way he would treat a man. Like, that's just, come on, that's not, that's just ridiculous. Like, that doesn't even make sense of general principle. You know what I'm saying? Especially as a, as a straight male. His whole approach is going to be different. You know what I mean? You might say, well, that's the point. Eh, you could say that. But you'd be wrong. Because... <laughs> If a guy treated a woman like he would treat any other guy, a lot of guys, uh, there'd be a lot more fights going on. When I say fights, like physical fights, you know what I'm saying? Like guys don't deal with females the same kind of way on both ends, you know what I mean? Like guys aren't, even though, yeah, we do have situations of domestic abuse, we're not going to disregard that, but it's not as rampant as like real physical abuse like i ain't like domestic abuse physical abuse like people getting beat on like women just getting beat on just for getting beat on like that's not something that's as rent just it just hurt like not a, if you're talking about a relationship where two people are fighting that's something else but if we're talking about like that just happening every like every day does it happen yeah but are you gonna say like 50 percent 50 plus percent like the more the most women that physically happen to no it's not men deal with females differently that's just how it's always been ain't, 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 ain't nothing new here ain't nothing new here so if he's known for busting dudes chops like how guys will bust chops on a more aggressive manner He's not gonna bust her chops that way. I would then he'd be a straight up bully, and he's not coming at it like that. So he might bust her chops by being flirtatious because she's a female. You know, like that's the way he's gonna do it. And on some level, he probably thinks she would just take it more in a complimentary mode and keep it moving and just like jump off of it, like. But clearly she wasn't with the shits. And I respect that. You know, no one's saying she's wrong for not being with it. But from what I understand, and I don't watch the show, and maybe I'm wrong, but if he busts the guy's chops all the time, and he feels he's gonna do the equivalent towards a female. But he's not gonna like bust her chops the way he do a 
guy, he, he, that would be damn near bullying, if it, if not outright bullying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, so he's going to do, like, you know, hit, hit her with, like, love light taps. And that was light work, a little flirt in hand just to be corny, but she didn't flow with it. You know what I mean? And rightly so, you know? But it wasn't some, but even by verbiage, it wasn't that deep. You know what I mean? He didn't like linger extra long and add, add this <laughs> laugh into it. It wasn't that deep. You know what I'm saying? So TMZ, come on, do better. It ain't that deep. But that's just how I'm thinking of it, man. I didn't think it was that much of anything. Her response was cool. I think she could have chased it down even more. Even when they asked about Laval, about her husband, she should have just. It wasn't worth doing anything. It wasn't worth anything. You know what I mean? He didn't really, in, in verbatim, he didn't really say anything wrong. You know what I mean? Like, so it was, to me, honest, it wasn't that deep. But that's just what I'm thinking. Let me know what you think. I don't know. It's just a thought. Live from the benches.